This is a demo of that needle's natural language to filters capability. I'm typing in, I'm looking for a cheap frost free. It correctly deduces that the item is a refrigerator, although it was not mentioned in the query. And that we are probably looking for deals when it says hint deal, that we are looking for deals on refrigerators that are frost free. Now I type in 20 L fridge. It says refrigerators with 20 liter capacity. However, if I type in 20 L bulb, in this case L is ambiguous, but it correctly reduced it to be lumen because it's a bulb. Whereas in the previous case, it interpreted L as letters. So it can resolve some ambiguities also. Let's try a very generic long tail query, which is 20 megapixel camera less than 25,000 rupees. It gave us a very neatly structured uh, data which says that item is a camera price range is 0 to 25,000 and attribute is 20 MPX. If you type in laptop with 20 GB DDR2 RAM, it correctly associates DDR2 and 20 GB with RAM whereas the main item is a laptop. If you had said RAM for laptops it would have identified item as RAM. So we can handle nicely uh, acronyms also for example UHD TV less than 25k identifies it as a television with attribute ultra HD and price range 0 to 25,000 and then there are other uh, aspects of hints Apple versus Windows laptops so we are looking for item is laptop and the hint is compare and other attributes being Windows and Apple so you could probably take this to a comparison page instead of a regular item search page. Best price on iPhone. So you are looking for deals on iPhone. So it will take you to a deals page. It's not just restricted to electronics. For example, if you say red skirt with a green border, it will tell you that skirts with the attribute red and border that is green. So correctly associating attributes in a very nice hierarchy and not just restricted to electronics we have capability to do it for apparel